Hello, viewers of Algorithm Videos. I'm Nick White. I do tech and Cody stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description and you get all my stuff. Uh, like and subscribe this so I can grow my thing. I'm basically walking people through code for algorithms, data structures, because they don't understand it. They get confused. Uh, this is basically 105, construct binary tree from pre-order and in-order traversal. Uh, if you don't know what a tree is, you're not going to be able to do this. Uh, but a tree is just a data structure. Binary tree is a tree where the nodes, tree nodes, are like this. They have a value. They have a left and right child. So a node has a value, like three. And then it has a left child with a value, a right child with a value. Even nine has a left and right child. They're just set to null. Okay. Um, so we can construct a tree based on information, you know, like this, like, we get a pre-order array of values and an in-order array of values. We can construct a binary tree using these uh, values because we can figure out the structure of a tree. Now, pre-order and in-order are types of traversals. There's also post-order. And uh, this represents, you know, what order the root is traversed, right? So, um, pre-order, the root is traversed pre-left and right. So, it's, uh, there's root, left, and right, right? Those are the three nodes, right? In a subtree or tree. Root, left, right. Okay. Um, what order is the revert, the root traversed? Pre-order, it's traversed first. So pre, root, left, right. In order, it would be left, root, right. Post-order, it would be left, right, root. So it's whatever order the root is traversed. Now with this data, we can kind of build this. So First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a helper method. We're gonna need a helper method to actually build the tree doing this. And what we'll notice is pre-order is root left right. So we already know what the root node is. It's gonna be three, because the first node pre in pre-order root is three. You know, um, that's just by definition, right? So but we're gonna return the root to the tree we construct from our helper method. Uh, we're going to take in where the pre-order traversal, where the pre-order boundary, where we're going to keep an index to find where the root is that we want in, uh, we're going to use this pre-start as an index of the root node at each recursive call. We're also going to keep boundaries on, um, you know, our in-order array, because this is how we're going to construct uh, in traverse on the left and right side. So we're going to keep an in start and in end boundary. Okay. And then we're going to also just pass in the pre order and in order arrays again. Pre order in order. And these are int arrays. So you got to make sure you include the types. Are you going to have errors that are annoying? Like, you know, and then you're going to be like, what is the error for? And then you have to look it up and read. And no one wants to read, right? Okay, there we go. So here's the method. We're gonna just call this method with our initial data, right? So pre-start is where we're the index where we're gonna get the current root node at. So that's just gonna be zero, right? The first root node is three, that's an index zero. The boundaries right now for the in start and in end, these are the boundaries of the in order array that we're gonna be looking at for each node. Uh, this is just going to be 0 to in order dot length minus 1. So like the whole array basically. And uh, we're just going to pass in the basic pre-order in order, you know, um, arrays, right? And we're going to be returning what we get back from this method because this is going to return the root to the tree. Um, so, you know, we're going to we're gonna check these boundaries each time to make sure that they're not wrong. So first boundary we're going to check is, is pre-start greater than, is the index that we're going to get the root from greater than the possible indexes from pre-order dot length minus one well if so that's you know that's not good so we're going to return null also if in start is greater than in end that's not good either so we're just going to return null if these are you know incorrect here okay um we're going to return root right so we're just going to return root which we will we'll build the first root the first root is going to be the first node in pre-order that's just by definition root then left right so you can see 3, 9, 20, 3, 9, 20, root, left, right. That's pre-order definition. Root is the first node in pre-order uh, array. So we're just going to build our tree node. So we do it with a constructor. We just say root is equal to new tree node. And we pass in that index that we want to pull from. So pre-order of pre-start. So pre-start is zero. Pre-order is this array. 
So index zero is that three. So we make a root with node three. We're gonna be returning root three. But before we return root three, we have to set the left and right nodes, right? Um, now, how are we gonna do that? Well, we wanna find, what we wanna do is we wanna find where the root node is in the in order array so that we can figure out what's gonna be on the left side and what's gonna be on the right. Because in order is left, root, right. So you know that whatever's on the left of the root is gonna be on the left side. Whatever's on the right is gonna be on the right side. So we just do, we're just gonna make an index. Uh, we're gonna make a variable called in index and we're gonna loop through i equals in start from in start to i less than in end. So the in order boundaries, we're gonna loop through and we're gonna say if root.val, if our root value is equal to in order of i, we found the index of the root in the in order array. So we could set that in index will be equal to i, great. Um, now, once we find that that index in the in order array, we can now set our left and right um, nodes, right? So root dot left will be equal to helper, and the boundaries for the in order array will be from in start on the left side. It's almost like a binary search, but not really, because it's not a binary search tree. It's not a binary search, but like how you're splitting it up to left and right side. So the boundary is going to be from the zero from in start to the in index minus one. So it's gonna be from the beginning to where we found the root minus one. That's what's gonna be on the left. Uh, we do have to, the pre-start variable is just gonna be plus one to get to the left because pre-order is root, then left, then right. So it's root, then left. So it's just pre-start plus one. So that's the index for the left side of the tree. So three dot left is just gonna be you know, we're gonna access the root node is gonna be nine because pre-start plus one, you know, it's just gonna be the index plus one, it's just gonna be one, and then you get, you know, new tree node of nine. Um, now the, 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 the boundaries for the in order array are gonna be in start to in index minus one. And then you're just gonna pass in pre-order and you're just gonna pass in the same pre-order and in order arrays. Okay, great. Now what you're gonna do on the right side is a little bit different and there's an explanation for this. Uh, you're gonna do, for the, the, in, the in order boundaries make sense. You're gonna do from in index plus one to in end. So just the right side of where you found the root in the in order array, right? Cause that's gonna be the stuff on the right side. That makes perfect sense. So from in index plus one to in end, you know, that's the in boundaries. Now the where you find the where you find the right node, the right child root in the pre-order array is gonna be determined based on this. It's gonna be determined based on pre-start plus in index minus in start plus one. And we do this because there are left subtrees sometimes, not in this example, but there are left subtrees and those like, oh no, 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 there are in this example. The left subtrees will be traversed first before we ever access the right nodes. It'll actually traverse the left subtrees first in an in order traversal. That's how it works by default. The right are the very last things to look at. So you want to skip those left subtrees by looking at in index minus in start plus one because this is the stuff that is on the left side. So all the stuff on the left side in the in order array, it's not really clear in this example, but all of the stuff on the left side in the in order array could be left subtrees and stuff. So you skip that boundary. So you plus this boundary of all that junk you wanna skip and then you add one. Instead of, you know, you would have liked to just do add two, but it's not that easy. You have to skip all this stuff because in order traversal isn't like, you know, it's a little more complicated than you think. It's not just left, root, right, 20. You actually do these, you have these left subtrees that you traverse before the rights ever get hit. Uh, looking at traversals and you'll understand this a little more. This is basically the solution, hopefully. Um, what is happening? Expected something, int in end. Sorry, we didn't do a type, hopefully. Right. 
Still wrong. What is wrong now? Memory limit exceeded. Oh gosh, guys. In index minus one. I just had this error a second ago. Right. Root dot right. Oh my gosh, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry again. Less than or equal. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> this is bad. All right, I'm not redoing the video. There we go. Okay, that's the solution. Sorry that I had so many errors. Okay. Um, but what I'm saying is you have to look at this. This this is the hardest part to understand about this problem. The rest is pretty straightforward, right? It's pretty, You split the in order. You know what's on the left side in the in order, the right side in the in order. You keep the boundaries. You get the pre-start where it needs to be every time. The, just understanding where this index come from, this part. They, this person explains it here. If I didn't do it clearly enough, you can go to this part in the... You know, the first one in the discussion, the most voted, you just look, this person explains it right here. It gives all of the reasons. Like, remember, pre-order traversal always goes on the left, will visit the left branch before the right ever gets hit. Therefore, we can get the immediate right child by skipping all of the subtrees, the left br sub branches. So we can do this by looking at the in order and getting rid of all the stuff on the left. And the, it gives you the formula and everything. Um, so there you go. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe so that, um, you know, the channel grows. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. That's it. All right. See ya later. All right. Peace.